Hi everyone on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and football fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts about Week 12 and my picks for Week 13 of the 2022 NFL season. Check it out. Well, first off, I hope you all had a very good Thanksgiving around across the country. I know I did. Watched some football, spent time with family, ate some turkey. You know, the whole nine yards of that. But, you know... But, you know, hope you had a safe um, Black Friday as well because, you know, everyone was shopping for holiday season for Black Friday and yesterday for Cyber Monday. So, anyways, hope you guys had a safe holiday and hope you guys had the best one. So, anyways, that being said, you know, my thoughts about Week 12. Kicking off one of the Thanksgiving Day games with Buffalo and Detroit. The Buffalo and, Bill and the Detroit game was probably one of the most wildest Thanksgiving game Day games we had in a very, very long time. It was one of the most entertaining games I watched over the Thanksgiving. It was very, very close. It was a back and forth game, but you know Detroit came back and tied it with, um, in fact, with they tied it with um, with the Lions kicker with um, uh, Michael Badagley. So they tied it up, and you can tell you that game time kick though was one a clutch kick though, and that kick though that looked like one of my bowling shots right there, but in but in fact though. That went through like it did, like a bowling, kicked in like a bowling ball, and like, and it looked pretty good. All of a sudden, the Josh Allen came came to with the clutch, and they sets up for the game winning field goal, and Detroit and Buffalo wins it in from there. That was pretty entertaining. And of course, so we got um, that Dallas in in New York though. Dak Prescott, you know, and there was a back and when Dallas was winning, when New York looked dominant coming back, but you know what, Dallas pulled through in the end. My Patriots and the Minnesota Vikings, gotta say, there was a lot of bad penalties on that game for my Patriots, especially on the special teams, especially at the end of the game, which pretty much cost them that. But that that catch for De from um, Henry, for Hunter Henry, he had his hand right on the goal line and it didn't count, which it should have counted. I can understand that that's Prescott's frustration now because of that. So anyways, that really, the bad calls and the, and the bad penalties pretty cost the Patriots the game. Pretty much we're out of the playoff chase right now. As for the moment. Tampa Bay and Cleveland. And Cleveland beat Tom Brady for the first time since since Eric Mangini was the head coach. So that's pretty much says to that. Sit. Uh, uh, hold on. Let me see here. Uh, Tennessee and um, Cincinnati. Oh. Ten, yeah. Tennessee came up when they did. And they did. Tennessee is still playing Tennessee football. That's all I can say. Miami and Houston. Miami just dominated Houston. That's all I can say. The Jets in Chicago. Oh wait, I will say this: if I knew about um, Teddy, if I knew about Justin Fields' injury, I probably would have taken the 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 Jets put on the minus side on that one. Anyways, uh, continuing on though, the Washington Commanders in line of Falcons. You know, Washington and did what they needed to do, and they did. Denver and Carolina, which I did apologize, I forgot to put that pick in, was um. I picked Darren, uh, Denver or Carolina, and I did the Denver minus two and a half on that one, but that didn't work out as planned. Hmm. Baltimore and Jacksonville. All right, just, I got to say, Trevor Lawrence just came to life in that game. I'll just say that the least. As for Baltimore, the defense keeps going to struggle again. That's all I can say. The LA Chargers and the Arizona Cardinals, the the, the the LA Chargers did what they needed to do to win to keep their uh, playoff hopes alive, and they did that. Seattle and Vegas, it goes to show you that I think Mark Davis is not trying to prove us wrong. So I can say that. Kansas City and the Las Vegas Raiders, I got to tell you, Patrick Mahomes looks like he's having another MVP year, and it goes to show you in that performance right there. Philadelphia and Green Bay, not J and Jalen Hurts. Threatening Josh Allen for that MVP race. And he is just lighting up the numbers. In fact, he got 30 points on Fantasy League. That's a quote of what I was reported on. And it, and so far, he's winning a lot of teams of Fantasy League. So pretty congratulations on your Fantasy Leagues if you had Jalen Hurts on there. So, and not only that, um, and for Green Bay's case, time to bench Aaron Rodgers for Jordan Love. Hate to say that. And for Indianapolis and Pittsburgh, Indianapolis showed up and won a game. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. All right, and and for my records this week, it's I went ten and six straight up, went one hundred two sixty five and one overall the year, 
And against the spread, now, unfortunately, it wasn't the case. I'm 4 and 12, 68, 82, and 2 overall in the year. And over and under, 1 and 2 and 2 overall in the year. Hold on. Excuse me. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. 1, 2, and 2 with two pushes. Excuse me. I forgot about the two pushes on Thanksgiving I got. So, anyways, that being said, uh, I. No, no. I, I, oh. Excuse me, I'm one in three and one overall in the year. Excuse me, I, I miscounted my picks. I do apologize. So that puts me in uh, four, uh, 13, 24, and um, one overall in the year. So I do apologize for the mix up on that. So I got to fix that one straight away. That being said, time, that's time to get on to my week 13 picks. Okay, before we get to our picks, um, the buys this week is the Arizona Cardinals and the Carolina Panthers. So if you have like Kyle Murray or if you have the Cardinals defense or the Panthers defense, getting the guys like them, just bench them this week. They won't be playing this week on fantasy football. So anyway, anyways, that being said, let's kick off the Thursday night football between uh, the Buffalo Bills and my New England Patriots in Foxborough. Um, this game is going to be a very, I think it's going to be a very tight game. Usually division games are pretty the tough ones to do, I say. But to say the least, though, I think this one's going to be a really tough one, this one. Despite the Patriots' defense, even though they didn't show up last week. And, uh, Buffalo with Josh Allen. They're going to pull some numbers up and force Buffalo's defense. Now minus the now the Bills' defense is hurt with uh, secondary being hurt. And now Von Miller being hurt. It's going to be a very hurt on the Buffalo side on that one. And you know Hoodie, he takes advantage on injuries. He's going to do it. So I think it's going to be a very close matchup. But I will give Buffalo this. I think Buffalo will win this game out. But it's going to be a lot closer than, than I think it was. But ever since Tom Brady left, Buffalo has been winning at home. Winning at in, in Foxborough the last, I believe, two two or three times already. So I don't I think this is going to be a case scenario again. So I think I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills over the my New England Patriots in this game. But on the line though, uh, my pa uh, the Buffalo Bills are favored by five and a half in this game. I'm going to take my Patriots plus five and a half. Over and under, it's um 43. I'm going to choose, I'm going to go over 43 because I think it's going to be an outscoring game. The Atlanta Falcons and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Atlanta is a very, very good good football team. Pittsburgh is mm, decent. You know, I wouldn't say Atlanta is a very good football team. But, you know, that being said, Atlanta, I think they're going to, they're much better football team right now. I think the way they're going to show it. But it's a close game. I'm going to take the Atlanta Falcons over the Pittsburgh Steelers and Pittsburgh in this game. On the line though, Atlanta's favored by one and a half in this game. I'm going to take Atlanta minus one and a half. The Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. Now, this is it for Green Bay, for Aaron Rodgers. they will beat Chicago, they're in trouble. But I think they're going to beat you know, Chicago because Aaron Rodgers' numbers against Chicago. So, I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers over the Chicago Bears in this game. On the line though, Green Bay is favored by um, three in this game. I'm going to take Green Bay minus three and a half. The Jacksonville Jaguars and then the... Detroit Lions, I'm very surprised on the, about who's favored in this game, but I, I'm going to tell you right now, though, I'm picking the upset of this one because the way Trevor Lawrence played, I was very impressed how Trevor Lawrence did. He finally came to life after a year and a half, so against Baltimore, it was a pretty good, solid game for, for Trevor Lawrence. And now going to Detroit, I think this is going to be a very, very good game to, co excuse me, to come around. And, and we're going to see some big numbers between Jared Goff and and um, and uh, Trevor Lawrence. I think they're going to go going right at it with the big guns. But I'm going to pick the upset in this one. I'm going to take Trevor Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars over the Detroit Lions in this game as an upset. And on the line though, Jacksonville is um, Detroit's favored by one in this game, which I'm kind of surprised on that one. So I'm going to take Jacksonville plus one. The Minnesota Vikings and the New York Jets. And I will say this: the Minnesota I need the, the Minnesota Vikings are are gonna be for real after what they did with my Patriots last week. I think this is a team of destiny. I think when especially when they beat in the, the one of the great games in against Buffalo a couple weeks ago, and uh, in recently against my Patriots, it's very likely they're gonna be a Super Bowl contender. We'll have to see and find out about this one. But anyways, that being said, I think for the New York Jets scenario. They did, but this is a very this is a very tight situation for the Jets right now. This is a lot of question marks that need to be filled, and because of that, I'm going to pick Minnesota at home over the New York Jets in this game. On the line, though, Minnesota's favored by three in this game. I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings minus three. 
The Washington Commanders and the New York Giants. A divisional game in this one. But to say the least, though, the Washington Commanders have won six straight ever since they lost a few uh, week six. I, I think it's week six or something like that. But but I think the but ever since that night and ever since then they've been on a roll. And I'm gonna take the Washington Commanders over the New York Giants in this game. On the line though, the Washington Commanders are favored by one and a half in this game. I'm gonna take the Washington Commanders minus one and a half. The Baltimore Ravens and the Denver Broncos. Now this game is gonna be a, the Bron the Ravens need to win. With Denver being one of the worst offenses in the league. And I, th and I think because of that, I think I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens over the Denver Broncos in this game. And on the line up, Baltimore is favored by 8 in this game. I'm going to take Baltimore minus 8. And the Cleveland Browns and the Houston Texans. Now, now despite the fact that Cleveland did to Tom Brady last week, I think they might do the same thing with Houston in, H in Houston. So I'm going to take the Cleveland Browns over the Houston Texans in this game. On the line up, Cleveland's favored by 7 in this game. I'm going to take Cleveland minus 7. The Seattle Seahawks and the LA Rams. Another divisional round game. It's going to... Uh, division game, excuse me. But but this game is going to be a mu really good game to watch. I think it's going to be a lot... Not going to be as good close game as I think it's going to be. So I'm going to take Seattle over the LA Rams in this game in, in Los Angeles. On the line of Seattle, three by four and a half in this game. Excuse me. S Seattle is made by four and a half in this game. I'm going to take Seattle minus four and a half. The Miami Dolphins and the San Francisco 49ers. Now, this is the game of the week of this one. I don't care what anyone says about this one. This is the game of the week. Two are Tag Lavoie and Jimmy Garoppolo going at it, which they, they kind of, I think they met in the, when during Brady's suspension in 2016. I can't remember. But anyways, with the, the way things are going right now for the Miami Dolphins on the offense side of the ball, and San, when Jimmy Garoppolo keep winning ball games, this is going to be a too close to call. It's so close, I'm picking the upset in this one, which is the Miami Dolphins over the San Francisco 49ers in this game in San Francisco. And on the line on the Miami Dolphins are favored by three in this game. I'm going to take Miami Dolphins plus three and a half. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Cincinnati Bengals, the rematch of the AFC Championship game in, in Cincinnati. But I think this time Kansas City has the edge of this one. I'm going to take the Kansas City Chiefs over the Cincinnati Bengals in this game. On the line now, Kansas City is favored by three in this game. I'm going to take Kansas City minus three. The LA, the LA Chargers and the Las Vegas Raiders, AFC West showdown. This is always a good classic matchup between these two teams. But I think Justin Herbert has the edge of this one. I'm going to take the LA Chargers over the Las Vegas Raiders in this game. On the lineup, the LA Chargers are favored by 2.5 in this game. I'm taking the LA Chargers minus 2.5. Sunday Night Football, the Dallas Cowboys and the Indianapolis Colts. Now, this game is going to be a much closer game. I think it's going to be, it's going to be really tight. Indianapolis played... Not solid football, but it wasn't the best game. But anyways, they keep games close. I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys over the um, Indianapolis Colts in this game. But on the line now, Dallas is favorite by 9.5 in this game. That's way too many points. I'm going to take Indianapolis plus 9.5. Over and under is 43.5. I'm going to go over 43.5. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. Now, this game is going to be a much closer game I expect to be. Then, but the Tam but I think Tampa Bay has the slight edge of this one, considering um it's at home. I'm gonna take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers over the New Orleans Saints in this game. On the line now, Tampa Bay saved by six in this game. I'm gonna take uh, New Orleans plus six. Over and under is forty. I'm gonna go under forty. Okay, I apologize for the yawning. I'm just really tired. So it's been a long week last week, and it's gonna longer week with finals this week. That's why I'm doing this really quickly. So I gotta hit the books really quick. So until then, a big shout out to to uh, who am I? To Matt the NFL fanatic. So they so said he has a make great. He makes great NFL YouTube pro, uh, picks like I do. In in fact, you can check all the rest of the NFL YouTube prognosticator page in the description down below right here. Until then, this is Andrew Warren signing off, saying, "Rock out."